Okay. Yeah. Is it recording? Okay. <laughs> um Gina. I'm a Canadian-born Palestinian. Uh, I'm an artist based in Montreal. I'm 20 years old and I'm currently in uh, communications and media studies at Concordia University. I started uh, creating art ever since I was four years old and um, it's always been a huge part of my life and I, whenever I was in school or class or whenever I've had the free time I'd always find myself drawing or doodling in my notebooks my family comes from an artist background. Um, my uncle was an artist. My dad is an, he draws as a hobby and my mom uh, paints abstract. And my sister's an architect as well as a painter in Ottawa. So we all developed uh, an artistic skill from them and we grew up with it. So I was constantly surrounded by art ever since I was a young girl and I found myself developing that skill as well as I grew up. My digital art career uh, started last year. So most of my work is based on uh, pop art, but a lot of people describe it to being as uh, dreamy bubblegum pop art because of the color palette that I use, which consists of pinks, baby light colors, and a pastel color palette. I started uh, my art career here in Montreal when I got my first art show through a couple of friends of mine and from there I was doing a lot of art shows at the Matahari Art Loft consistently throughout the summer of 2016 and then I had gone to LA later that summer and I was interviewed for an art piece that I had created for a group called Essence and through that I've met a lot of artists and I've made connections with more musicians that I'm now currently working with. So it's all based on my inner feelings and or what like my surroundings and what is going on. Uh, but I like to put a cover on that with brighter colors and a strong female heroine. Heroine? Heroine? Heroine. <laughs> heroine. Um, uh, yeah, and it's just a dreamy, utopic place that I like to take people through um, just to get them out of their own perspective and have them see my perspective. What inspires me is nature, I know, I realized. Whenever I'm walking through Mont Royal or just sitting there or whenever I'm on the beach or just sitting in the park, I always find myself inspired to create art just because it's a different energy compared to being in other places. When I'm indoors, I feel that there's a closed vibe that won't let me reach a certain energy that I'm trying to reach to create a piece. For me, digital is more practical and faster, whereas I feel like when I'm painting, there's more expressions and emotions put into it. There's more of a connection with the piece in comparison to a digital art piece. Thank you.